Hey everyone, we're out here on the range again today and we're gonna be talking about a common question we get all the time and that is, are your suppressors full auto rated? And the answer to that question is yes, but the question should also be asked, what does full auto rated mean? There really isn't an industry standard on the term. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about what we mean by that term. In the suppressor industry, full auto rated generally just is a claim about durability, but how much full auto and for how long? At the end of the day, it comes down to how much heat and pressure will your suppressor sustain? And how much does it need to be able to handle for it to be durable enough for extreme conditions? To answer that question, we looked at the durability requirements established by the US military. The SOCOM reliability stress test was a test designed to put a suppressor through a worst case scenario type firing schedule. To see how a suppressor withstands intense heat and pressure with no cooling time in between each magazine. This is the full auto test we use at OSS. Not only did the suppressor have to survive the brutal test, but stoppages and malfunctions are also observed. So here's how the test works. First, decibel measurements are taken, and then the weapon system is put through six cycles of semi and full automatic fire. Each cycle consists of eight 30 round magazines, which is actually one more than a standard combat load. Magazine one is fired at the rate of one round per second. Mag two is two rounds per second. Mag three is back to one round per second. And keep in mind, there is no cooling time allowed between each magazine. Mag four is then fired at three to five shot bursts. Mag five is back to one round per second. Mag six is two rounds per second. Mag seven is one round per second. And the eighth and final magazine is a full auto mag dump. This would complete only one cycle. And this firing schedule is to be repeated for a total of six cycles to complete the test. Doing well on the test doesn't only mean the suppressor survives. If the gun is malfunctioning and excessive stoppages are recorded, the weapon system fails and testing is halted. Upon completing the test successfully, decibel measurements are retaken to confirm that the system is still hearing safe. And that is because a heavily eroded or degraded suppressor can actually get louder and no longer be hearing safe. OSS suppressors full auto rating means that the suppressor will pass the SOCOM reliability stress test without issues. We do really well on the test for a few reasons, but two of which are key. First, because of the flow through design, the suppressor is not affecting the host firearm. This means drastically less malfunctions and weapon stoppages. Second, because of the design, our suppressor does not contain the same amount of heat and pressure as some of our competitors. This generally means they run a lot cooler and cleaner and there are no internal erosion issues. So some of you might be asking, how well do some of your models hold up during the SOCOM reliability stress test? The HXQD 556K and 556 were both put through 12 cycles of the test instead of the required six, with zero stoppages and issues. Our HXQD 762 suppressor is full auto rated on 556, meaning it will also pass the SOCOM test with no issues. The same is true for our 762 tie and Magnum tie models. Both pass the SOCOM test with no bulging or erosion issues that you might expect from a titanium can put through such an aggressive firing table. So when it comes to durability, though we can't speak as to what some of the other manufacturers mean by the term full auto rated, if an OSS suppressor is full auto rated, you can be sure that the suppressor will withstand the most extreme firing conditions. So hopefully this video has been informative for you guys at home. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and let us know in the comments if there are other topics you want us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching.